Good afternoon. How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin, and I'm doing? And you're happy too. How y'all living, fam? It is Wednesday up in this biatch. And your girl's in the kitchen, as always. I always start off here. Y'all know the deal. Camera's always usually in here. So that's always how it goes. Any hoodle. I am in the kitchen defrosting some chicken. Y'all remembered. I uh, y'all remember. I got a couple pieces of chicken the other day, and Juice kept bringing home food, so I completely just ended up freezing it. And now I got to figure out what the fuck to do with it. So just defrosted it, and then I'm going to I don't know. Just since we haven't gone to the grocery store, y'all know. Um, told y'all yesterday that one of the things I want to do is try to switch it up a little bit and just look up more recipes and do different shit, healthy shit of course, but different shit because I'm constantly having the meat, the veggie, the potato, the meat, the veggie, the potato, which is fine, but it's nice to have a, a, a way to cook it that's a little different or a little tweak on something that you already cook or whatever the fuck. So I am looking for, I don't think I have any more. Um, I was just going to simply marinate this stuff in Italian dressing, but it doesn't seem as though I have any, so, um, that I have any more. I might have ran out. Um, I keep looking in the same spot, just like the Tabasco that we still haven't found. Y'all, I know he, he randomly puts my Tabasco places, so if he's not looking or paying attention, he'll put it in the medicine cabinet randomly or he'll put it in the fridge. I've caught it in the fridge, same with the soy sauce. Those are the two things in my house that I cannot live without or that I love having in my house, and those are the two things he always misplaces. So I looked high and low yesterday, y'all. Still was looking, okay, as of yesterday. Still couldn't find the motherfucker, so it's cool. Anyway, yeah, y'all. We out here, you know what I'm saying? We are waiting on the hubster to get home. It is late in the evening. I am rocking my workout gear because what I'm hoping it's gonna do is encourage Juice to have his little snack and then we gonna head to the gym because honestly, we are going out of town very shortly and not even that, spring is around the corner. Like right now, we dealing with the snow. It's still snowy outside. It was a little chilly. It was actually really fucking cold outside this morning but it's warmed up a little bit. There's still snow though, however, Next week is supposed to be a lot nicer. It's supposed to be in the 60s for a few days. And then thereafter, it's going to be the end of February. I mean, February is like this. So we're going to be hitting the spring months. And I am not going into the spring wearing t-shirts and shorts and crop tops and shit. And me looking like with a lump lump. You heard me? Mm -mm. So anyway, I'm hoping by me already being dressed to go to the gym that when he walks in the door, he has his little snack and that we just head out the door to the gym and come back. We could have some chicken or whatever the fuck or I can, you know, thaw it for tomorrow because I don't remember whether he has turkey and stuff. And he's cool with that. Like, he actually has been craving the turkey and the beans or whatever because wherever he got it from, I forgot the name of it, he loves the barbecue spot where they got it. Which is totally fine by me because I can eat that or I can have, you know, something else. No biggie. I'm not as picky. However... I'm glad I thought it, although it's still kind of frozen. Glad I thought it though, because then I can at least, maybe on the way home, I can go pick up some uh, Italian seasoning so I can, you know, uh, marinate these and I can marinate them overnight and they'll be even better tomorrow. And then uh, Friday's Valentine's Day, which we have not decided what we're gonna do. It is gonna be so game time decision on that shit, whether we're gonna celebrate Friday or we're gonna celebrate Saturday or we're gonna do low key it all weekend and just do something both days. So we'll see. We're totally winging it, y'all. Totally winging it. And putting some uh, some detail work today on the meet and greet that's going to be in Dallas. So I will let you guys know what the dealio is. If nothing, if, if, if the, the location doesn't work out, no big deal. Still going to have something. It just may be someplace else more casual. Not that this is going to be some dressed up shit, but this is actually going to be at a, a place, a spot. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to work out the logistics and the details of that. Um, so that when I can I can get it all confirmed and then finally go ahead and um, get everything firmed up and tell you guys the location, where, address, and everything. It's definitely going to be March 13th. March 13th, Thursday evening. It's going to start at 6. It's going to end at 9. So those are the things I can most definitely tell you. Um, and regardless of where it is, it's going to be at, in that time frame. So just if you can plan and prepare March 13th, 
Thursday, Juice and I are gonna be there for show, and it's gonna be 6 p.m., okay? So just say 6 p.m., all right? Whether it ends at eight or ends at nine, it's gonna be for sure 6 p.m. so far on March, it's definitely gonna be March 13th, no matter what. March 13th, which is Thursday, coming up soon in like four fucking weeks, so anyway. Tell your sister, cousin, baby, daddy, and them, you know, come on through. Come kick it with your boy and your girl. So, anyway, I'll let you guys know as we get closer, but Juice should be here shortly. I'm actually going to look through my Muscle Fitness and Oxygen Magazine stuff, and then I'm going to forward myself some workout stuff that I was using before to get my workout on and lift because you know I'm starting to split body parts but guess what I forgot Jessica was going out of town today she left to go to Florida today so we're on our own with workouts until she gets back in town on Sunday that being said I'm gonna be body splitting on my own to start off with and then I'll be body splitting with her next week so I'm gonna pull some little workouts that I can find in this magazine and then pull some um stuff that I already had that I was doing before that was giving me the results I was getting and get back into that. I got four weeks in this motherfucker to get this shit done. And it's not, I'm not doing it just for that. I really am not. I'm just giving myself an allotted time frame. Where's the, oh shit, it's in the bedroom. I'm giving myself an allotted time frame so that I have a time frame to kind of look forward to. You know what I'm saying? Because the reality is I'm gonna always work out. It's just um, sometimes I just get bored with being in the gym all the time. And so I wanna enjoy myself. The, the holidays and all that shit, I enjoy the holidays. Let's be real. I have no regrets about that because I can get into the gym and work it off. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta work hard for it. Once I start doing sprints, the weight starts to kind of come down, or at least my measurements do. Speaking of, it's in the, it's in the, I'll, I'll get it. I have to get my little, um, my wrap for around my stomach. Completely forgot to wear it yesterday when I worked out with Jessica, so take it with me to the gym today so I can get my ab workout on. Oh, ducks, what the fuck? And uh, so yeah, let us cross our fingers that Juju's gonna be willing to go to the gym here in a minute when he gets home. What's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? Look, back in heaven again. Well, heaven and hell, whatever. Either way, my idea was, my idea worked of uh, being in my workout outfit when I got home because I got used to come to the gym. Finally, I've missed this place. And my thing is, I don't want spring to come around and I, my black ass is regretting that I didn't come up in this motherfucker, you know what I mean? So, you have never seen it this busy before. This late in the evening. And that's not even that busy, but you know, it's still like February, you know what I'm saying? So people are still trying to be like, yes, time to drop this weight that I done gained over the holiday, you know what I mean? So, any hurdle. So this is gonna be interesting vlogging with all these motherfuckers up in here. We're gonna make it work though. Hey, how are you? Right. What up, y'all? We up in the gym, y'all. Finally. Look. Your girl over here sweating. Yeah. That's called sweating. Termination. It's called. It's called hard work. Yeah. Today was leg day for me. Oh. So. Oh, what was that? So you see this? This is what happens when you start doing legs. I mean, this is good. This is good. The more you sweat, for the most part. Not in every instance, but for the most part, the, the more in shape you have a tendency to be. Yeah. Which is good. I don't feel like I lost too much of a step. And see, today is upper body day for me, which is why you see this. You know, I'm not really sweating as much as she is, but you, you know, you get the drift. I'm in here, I'm holding a water bottle. It's, it's empty, which means I was thirsty because I was working hard. And uh, that's all y'all need to know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, man. feels good to be back in here. It does, dude. No lie. I got my 30 minutes cardio in already, so my sweat is already dried up. 45 for me. 45 for her. 30 for me because I'm on a stricter plan than she is, okay? You are? So I, I do 30 minutes four times a week. How are you on a stricter plan? Mine was stricter from the beginning. I just am, okay? Oh, oh, oh. My workouts are harder than hers are, so my cardio is reduced. If you believe that? My cardio reduction is reduced because of the redu reduction factor by reducing the factor minus x equals z minus m for... That's how it goes? That's how it's going. Okay, okay. 
Whatever, y'all. Y'all know the deal. We back up in this motherfucker. In other words, yeah. And we about to kill it. The next few weeks, we up in here. We were Jessica. Although this week, we're gonna be in here because Jessica's out of town until what? Jessica? What? <laughs> She out of town. Well, Saturday she out of town? She out of town Saturday too. So oh, you didn't tell me we that. Been here. That's why I the hell? pulled up my oldie but goodie workouts. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I'm Jessica let her that. brother in sometimes. Shit. Hey, we should have we should have gotten in her suitcase and she went to Florida with the family. Hello? Mm -hmm. What the fuck? You didn't tell me that. Yeah, that's why I was like, hey, we up in this motherfucker. We ain't gonna lose the beat and she come back and start kicking our ass and she starts doing body splits with us next week. Shit. I'm glad we paid the gym bill. <laughs> I gotta go. Down there getting our what? Shake on. Getting our shake on. It's been a while since we've done one of these. I'm starting to feel like, yeah. like that felt honestly on some real shit that felt like amazing. To work out. For real, for real. Like to actually get some weights going. You know, I love weights. Yeah. Like, love. If I was one of them skinny bitches, that all I had to do was to tone up using weights and that's it, I'd be cool. Not that I don't like cardio. But I get bored with it, like doing the treadmill. I like doing things like, mm -hmm. like I would do dance class over doing like Zumba. Does that make sense? Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> but I'm like, I, t I mean, I, I miss the weight stuff. I miss it. So I felt good. I did some good legs today. Mm -hmm. Incorporated some of the stuff that Jamie gave me to work, you know, to use to work out. So mm -hmm. I did a whole, and I incorporated some of Jessica's stuff too. And then it felt good. I'm probably gonna be a little sore tomorrow though. It's been a while since I've done single leg lunges and if we hadn't gotten pulled aside by our friend we probably would have shot a little bit of it so you could have seen some of the stuff we're doing but i do have a sandy 660 coming up that's going to feature some of the stuff that i did today so i'll let you guys know when that's up but yeah we yeah. got some good advice today we love when we run into our friends we haven't seen in a while but him in particular which i didn't even get a chance to show him on camera but oh yeah and i got a bone pick with awesome. jessica coming up too probably next saturday oh, no. it's gonna be a bone we pick with her because she didn't let, she didn't let me know she was leaving, so Thank you. next week, y'all gonna see that bone, okay? But right now, I'm gonna try to see Just this. Just don't give her my bone. That's my bone. Shit. <laughs> I love you, Justin. <laughs> what's up, what's up? Let me turn on this light so y'all can see. Any hoodle. So, been checking the comments. Just got out the shower, had a little minor dog emergency. Um, one of them motherfuckers went doo-doo in the crate, which, you know, it's been a long, y'all haven't heard us talk about that in a minute, but I don't know, because when I took both of them out earlier, um, Desi was just not wanting to go, like, refused, and then I kept crating him and then putting him back out, and crating him and putting him back out, but he was so occupied with the snow. In other words, I mean, we went to the gym, and that's when that nigga decided to go ahead and just dump. So, anyway... Yeah, came home to a nice little emergency, so they gotta get bathed again, again, and um, we gotta clean out the crate and all that shit. Anyway, Juice is in the shower right now, and um, the dogs are um, actually in the middle bathroom so that we can empty out the crate and get it cleaned up. That being said, I happen to have the chance to check out your guys' comments on um, day before yesterday's vlog, because by the time you guys see this, it's gonna be Friday. So, and okay. Crazy. A lot of you guys were saying Costco is better, and so was Maria. Maria was like, bitch back, Costco all the motherfucking way. And granted, we don't have a Costco card. We have a Sam's card or whatever, but I keep hearing that in the street, that Costco is the way to go, and it's a little bit pricier, but Costco's got like everything. And she's very into much into organic shit. And um, not that I don't like eating organic, but you know, organic has a tendency to be, at some times, to be more expensive. And y'all know we live on a budget. I mean, as much as we can, to the best of our abilities. Obviously, there's some things that we splurge on. Y'all know that but for the most part we ain't trying to buy organic with everything you know it's you know i mean it's just not necessary for us not now you know that being said a lot of people y'all were on the costco a lot of y'all were saying costco um was the way to go and then um let's see a couple of you guys had um v atkins v atkins thank you for the compliment look i need to i, I actually i'm going to be whitening my teeth they said i don't know if you're boy or boy or girl a man or a woman um because we do have male viewers what's up y'all okay um you said that my teeth are white and pretty thank you um seriously um 
I do try to watch it, although lately I've been thinking to myself, because I do love my little morning coffee every now and again, I don't drink it black or anything, but you know, coffee's coffee, so I've been saying to myself that I really need to start drinking out of a straw every now and again just to kind of save the teethuses. However, I am going to whiten my teeth and try a product and see how it works out, so we'll see. Um, then, y'all were talking about those drinks that I showed you guys. What's the name of the damn drink? Um, they're expensive as fuck. Synergy drink. The synergy drink that I showed you guys. Do I have it here? In case you guys didn't see the, the vlog. Because I need to take the food out anyway because we have not had dinner yet. Um, these. These synergy drinks or whatever. And there's a whole variety of them. The guy that was helping us over at Whole Foods actually mentioned... <clears throat> actually mentioned... Um, that that was one of the good ones um and there were so many others there was one that had chia seeds in it look it looks gross but chia seeds you really can't taste them you know i was drinking a lot of chia seeds last year supposedly they you know one of you guys mentioned that they burn a lot of um fat specifically in the tush um let's see who was it that just i'm trying to find it anita anita ford what's up girl anyway um, she just left a comment saying that chia seeds supposedly help you lose booty fat and she saw that on Dr. Oz. Y'all know Dr. Oz be knowing his stuff. I mean, you know, at least I, I think so. So, um, anyway, there's a couple others. I always try whenever I go to Trader Joe's or Whole Foods to try at least one thing that's new that I've never tried. So that was my new thing that I tried at Whole Foods. I always try to take at least one thing, that and then the, um, the rice that we had that night, the, uh, uh, what was it? It was brown rice and uh, quinoa, which actually ended up being really good. Uh, there's a couple other comments that I got. I haven't gone through comments and actually said something to you guys verbally on video in a while, but I've been trying to respond, um, of course, by uh, computer. So, um, let's see. And yeah, a lot of you guys were saying that you guys like the synergy drinks a lot, um, but everyone's all about the Costco. And um, there was one more I wanted to mention. Um, anyway, and then a few of you guys were making um, suggestions about what I should do for, for food and meals and stuff like that. I also have a book that has a whole bunch of crock pot recipes and stuff to try. And I just talked to Juice about it. Actually, I just finally said something to him on the way back home from the gym. I said, you know, look, I, I'm, I love meat and all that shit, but I want to switch it up. You know what I mean? Just try some new recipes healthy shit but stuff that i can you know have in there for a few days you know the little mini meats because it's just two of us we ain't got you know when we go to sam's we buy our meat and it lasts forever because it's just the two of us right now you know that being said i want to do some other things make a you know a casserole like one of you guys suggested or you know some healthy lasagna you know what i'm saying i've always wanted to try healthy lasagna to see how that tastes so and he was totally in agreement. ironically enough he like totally was like yeah I would love it. I just we had been, we've been eating the same types of stuff for a while because we were on that diet. That being said, um, another thing you guys have been asking about. I'm trying to make sure I answer the questions I've been getting asked. As far as the fitness competition, let me make sure I'm not running out of space. Hold on. Woo woo woo. Okay, just want to make sure. Cause it times out. Y'all know how it is. As far as the fitness competition, um, um, originally I know you guys were, you knew that I was doing the fitness competition originally. And then I was going to start training for it, like hardcore, or at least get back into training for it and dieting for it, um, and picking, a, selecting a date um, come January. It is now February, and I've not made any mention of it. Of course, I've been working out. I've cleaned up my diet. It's not completely clean yet because, um, you know, I'm not on a strict diet as of yet. You guys know I haven't been back to see Jamie. That being said, I'm not saying that I'm not doing a competition. I don't, the competition that we were looking at possibly doing, or a competition we were looking to possibly do, would be sometime in March or April. There's way too much going on between then, between now and then, that I just, there's no way I could get that done that quick. I mean, I, and because I'm not at Jessica's level of fitness where it would only take me six weeks to snap, I would have to totally, my shit would have to be hella strict for the next, you know, whatever number of weeks, like literally four, four or five months and, you know, before I could do a competition. So it would be too soon for me to do one anyway, unless I just did it for shits and giggles and I wouldn't be at my best 
anyway um so for right now i'm just getting back into the gym i need to get my strength back up as far as weightlifting is concerned get my momentum back up and that's what i'm doing and then from there i'll make a decision what i'm going to do you know what i mean with regard to when i'm going to do it i'm definitely going to do one in my life for sure i just don't exactly know when it's going to happen even jessica who was slated to do a fitness competition in march she's not even doing it anymore um and not, not because of me she just feels like she needs a little bit of a break. It is a lot, it's a lot. And you guys know I've been training and dieting and eating right and going hard in the pain. Two hours in the gym on a regular for over a year and um, hardcore and consistent. But after a while it does drain you, which is why I enjoy the holidays so much. So, and I, I mean, shoot, I didn't have a competition date in mind, but she did. So she, her stuff was a lot more strict and a lot more cardio. And, and I was in the gym for two hours all the time on a regular, but that's tiring as fuck and measuring out your food every five seconds. It's great when you're trying to hit a goal, but when you're just doing it just to measure every single, it's hard, you know, and prepackaging your meals, you can do that. But sometimes you just want to sit down and have a regular serving size of something to eat. And I'm a foodie. You all know that. So, um, anyway, so we'll see. It's just going to be all up in the air. I'm just, you know what I mean? Going to see what happens after these next couple months. I've got way too, I just, there's just no way I could do it all the competition and then some things that have kind of come up for me as of late that I'm really excited about but that I want to really make sure that I focus my energy on so that they get done properly. My birth is coming up in this motherfucker soon. So Juice is going to be hearing that. Y'all going to be hearing that every day. My birth is coming up in April. So anybody trying to die while... Anybody trying to die on their birth? Okay. So yeah. That's the deal with the competition, because I know I have had a couple of people ask. Um, and one of you guys actually commented today on one of the videos, not this one in particular, but that you guys selected a date for competition, and I want to say it was in July. So I want to say it's July or June, but congratulations. Either May, June, July, sometime very, you know, in the next few months. So congratulations, and of course I'll be rooting for you. I'm in the gym. I'm going to be working out and eating better. But now that I got juice, it's okay to just be like, you know, kind of just experiment a little bit with food. That'll be more fun for me, because I just... Yeah, and then just easier because sometimes I just, you know, I and even though I complain about cooking and sometimes I don't feel like cooking you know, on certain days, it is therapeutic. It's, it's, it's soothing. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like people who like to plant flowers in their garden. You know what I mean? It's like, anyway, y'all get the drift. So that's the deal. I want to make sure I answer those questions because I've, I've gotten asked and I always forget to answer the damn questions. So yeah, question and answer time with Sandy. In the kitchen. I always do question and answers in the kitchen. I just noticed that. Anyway, that's how we do. All up and through here. Anyway, so Juice is going to come back out. He brought home some food. I know. Anyway, um, they had another company in the office today, and they brought food. So the company that came to the office brought food. So this is actually left over from what was brought in from the other company. And so he brought over some soup. He also brought over some, bless you, honey. I knew I heard him. Um, some soup, and he brought me a ham and cheese sandwich, all from Panera Bread. Um, so we're good dinner-wise because we really need food. He's trying to avoid going with me to Sam's. He gone. That's why he keeps like pushing off the Sam's date. I'm like, all right, yeah, so it's okay. We gonna go when you wanna go. We go when you go. Okay. <laughs> we gonna see how long he lasts. He don't wanna eat. Luckily for him, he's had something to bring home every day. All right, I'm gonna figure this out. Try to pull out some food as the, I don't know where the other soup is. Anyway, I'm gonna figure this out and see what uh, juice, which thing juice wants to, to partake in. All right, y'all. Today has been a good day. Had a good night's sleep last night. Had a couple, couple had a couple of cups of coffee this morning. I'll get my shit ready for tomorrow right now anyway. Tomorrow I'm drinking on uh, some of this right here. Yeah, that breakfast blend. Had a couple of cups of coffee. Everything went good at work today. We had some food. I brought some more food home. We worked out today and, uh, you know, everything went well today. Everything except for those dogs. Uh, yeah, I just don't want to know what they did tonight. Uh, I had to put them up. I quarantined them. They, they... They're off somewhere in a this in an undisclosed location and uh y'all yeah, probably see them tomorrow, but they need some work. But other than that, everything went smooth and um getting ready for tomorrow. 
had some dinner, sandwich, soup, leftovers. The wife is on the couch, chilling and relaxing. Uh, I'm about to hit the hit the sack, and she is. I don't know what the fuck is she doing. She hey. watching Sports Center. <laughs> Look, we are trying to do what we got to do, and um, I'm working. Work. But no, I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to get off this computer though because yesterday I worked all last night and I didn't get a chance to snuggle with you, honey. So, snuggle times. Yeah. You excited? Of course. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, we love y'all. And um, yeah, we'll see y'all manana. Yeah. There's nothing going on tomorrow that I know of. Nothing. Yeah, tomorrow's kind of a quiet, low key day, but yeah. it was a good one. And that's all we can ask for, y'all. So. Yeah. On that note, Love we're going to get the hell up out of here. So we're going to holler at y'all in the morning. All right? Peace.